You know that they don't teach this in law school. Less than 1% of the nation's attorneys specialize in asset protection. That leaves us, anybody with assets, it leaves us in a very uncomfortable position. And if you don't understand the tax game, if you're not willing to play the tax game, you lose a tremendous amount of your wealth. Probate and estate taxes are 100% optional if you will use the proper tools in a timely fashion. There are two systems of taxation in America. And I used to think, oh, yeah, one, one for the rich, one for the poor. Not really. It's for those who have a business and those who don't. Let's say we make $100,000 as a W-2 employee. The very first thing that's going to be taken out would be taxes. If we combine state and federal and maybe some FICA, you're paying 27% taxes. Let's say your expenses come in at about $70,000. That gives you a whopping $6,000 to save for retirement. And like, whoop de doo But let's look at the other set of tax code. Let's say a business makes $100,000 of income and still has $70,000 worth of expenses. So after the expenses, instead of being taxed at at $100,000, they're being taxed at $30,000. In most cases, that would be at a lower tax bracket across the board, which gives you a whole bunch more to save for retirement. If I could be saving $23,000 year after year after year after year, do you see the difference that could make in retirement and building wealth? Let's take a dollar bill and double it. We take, we're not doing complicated math. We're just taking a dollar bill, double it, double it, double it. How many times do we have to double it before it becomes a million dollars? The correct answer is 20 times. But this shows a tax-free environment. What if we were paying taxes along the way? We, what would happen? Let's say the lowest possible tax rate for, for capital gains for most of you would be about 15%. But watch what happens. We double it again, the dollar eighty-five, and we take out fifteen cents, and now we have three dollars and forty-two cents instead of four dollars. But then we play the numbers, and again, this isn't funny math. We're taking a dollar, we're taking an amount, we're doubling it, we're taking out fifteen cents. We're buying and selling, we're flipping houses, we're investing in the stock market. What you'll notice is that after twenty trades, instead of having a million dollars. You've got $220,000. The long-term effect of you paying capital gains along the way is you never accumulated significant wealth because you didn't have enough money working for you. And a lot of us sit back at the end of life when our hairs are gray and we go, I've worked, I've done everything, but I still don't have any money. How come he's richer than I am? Because he learned different tax strategies. I'll tell you, tax strategies make all the difference in the world in acquiring wealth. I'm a real estate investor. What's the best legal strategy for? And my answer is going to always be, it depends. Do you want to flip or do you want to hold? Because flipping and holding have two very different scenarios and, and different tax strategies and different asset protection strategies. Are you going to own the title or the note? One brings tremendous liability. One is kind of a passive kind of thing that doesn't bring any liability to you. I'm going to look at, are you using qualified funds? Are you buying real estate within your IRA or your 401k? Because some of your accountants are giving you really, really bad advice. They're saying, oh, you have a piece of real estate, just stick it in an LLC. Are you kidding me? You're using the wrong legal structure. The IRS is going to deny those gains and say, nope, sorry, you can't do that. That's going to have to pass on to next year. Are you kidding? You just flipped a house and it cost you more in taxes than you made on the house. And it screwed up all of your deductions for the next three years. You do this wrong and it's going to cost you. It's not simply just stick the property in an LLC. We want to ask you the right questions. When Because the concerns are different, therefore the strategies that you use are going to be very different.